What's up, YouTube? Coming at you with another video here, Little Guy Truck Show. I'm gonna talk to you today about uh, weight distribution, and sliding your tandems. But real quick, I want to talk about my shoutouts. My shoutouts. Um, it's impossible for me to do all the shoutouts that I get, the requests. So, if you send me a link to your video, I'll I'll obviously subscribe to your channel, and I'll like your video. With that, you'll be able uh, the people that subscribe to my channel will be able to see your video and watch it on my news feed. So send me a link to your video and I'll we'll spread the word that way. We'll share each other's we'll, we'll spread some love. Alright? Alright, on to the video. Talk about weight distribution. You need to get one of these. It's important. I recommend getting one of these, getting the uh, laminated version. With the big all laminated both sides. It's really nice it, and it's durable won't fall apart on you okay go to page a14 is where it starts a14 talks about national weight size provisions okay tells you um, the length the width for each state okay but then it breaks it down even more on this page and this pa and these pages here the next pages. So A14 through A17. Alright. Tells you everything you need to know about your weight, your, your 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 length, your width, tandems, the whole nine yards, your restrictions, all that good stuff. So get one of these. They'll save your life. It tells you all about uh, low bridges, all that good stuff. Okay, you need to get one of these. I don't care if you got a top of the line GPS like I got, because that damn thing right there is not always accurate. Okay, don't rely on your GPS. Do not do it, or else. Now, I'm going to talk to you today about good rule of thumb, good practice with your tandems, okay, and your uh, your fifth wheel tandem, okay. I'm going to show you where I keep mine all the time, unless you know you're like heavy in the back of the trailer, which is very uncommon because. Uh, Nine out of ten times when they load your trailer, they put all the heavy stuff in the front, in the nose of the trailer. All right, so the only time you should worry about adjusting your rear tandems on the trailer is if there's a lot of weight in the back. Now, if you get a slip, if you pick up your load, you get a slip that says 46,000 pounds. My first guess is go and get it weighed to find out for sure if you're legal. If you're legal, with your tandems all the way forward, you're good. Right out. But if you're too heavy on your trailer tandems or whatever, or your or your drive uh, or your steer tires or your, your drive axle, then you need to move something. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Ready, Rick? Rick is ready. <laughs> All right, check it out. Good rule of thumb. See where my nose of my trailer is and my tire is? It's pretty much even. So you want to keep your fifth wheel about two notches or five notches from, well, yeah, depending on how your fifth wheel set up. Good rule of thumb is keep it level with your tire. Okay? Now so far I have not I have not have not had to slide my fifth wheel tandem. Okay? Check it out. Now we're gonna talk about your trailer tandems real quick. See all those holes up there? They go all the way to the back. Okay? Right now my tandems are all the way forward. Okay? I'm empty right now. So the thing is is you want to keep you want to keep your tandems all the way forward at all times as much as possible. The reason why is so that way you're off tracking when you're making turns is easier. You're not going to have a huge off track. If you keep your tandems to the rear, you're it's you're going to have that much more of a swing in your turn. So Good rule of thumb, good practice is to keep your tandems forward 
as much as possible if you can. Now the only time you will have to slide your tandems around for weight distribution is if you have a lot of weight in the back or if you're heavy on your drive axle or your steer axle and you got to move some weight around you know something like that but like I said the only time you have to do that is if you're heavy in, in, in one area with the with the, the tandem slid all the way forward on the trailer you're taking all that weight off the front of the tractor and the and, uh, the um, the steer tires and the drive tires so always keep them forward now let's say you pick up a trailer and the tandems are like halfway and you you weigh your, you weigh it out and you're heavy on your 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 drive axle so you want to shift some weight to the back of the trailer to put some more weight on the uh, the, the trailer tandems like I said keep the tight keep the tandems all the way forward at all times unless you're loading or unloading it's just good good practice it's easier in the turns but let's say you forgot you didn't check whatever and you get it weighed and you're heavy on the steer and you're heavy on your uh, your, your drive axle all if you slide them forward you're gonna take all that weight off of them it's great but let's say you got them all the way forward and you're still heavy then you gotta slide your fifth wheel you know you gotta you gotta play with it for the fifth wheel notches that I showed you up there it's 500 pounds for each notch on the tandems on the trailer it's 250 pounds per notch okay now I'm gonna show you how to slide the tandems okay this bar right here this bar right here is what disengages this pin there's pins on both sides front and rear there's another pin back there I don't know if you can see it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull on this thing and the pin should come out alright the pin didn't come out which means that they're locked in pretty good so what you gotta do in the tractors you gotta you know shake it a little bit till the pins pop in so I'm gonna tell my student to shake the truck a little bit and till the pins pop in alright the pins are locked so go ahead and shake it a little bit All right. Cool. All right. Now that the pins are in, he's gonna go ahead and slide the tandems to the to the uh, to the rear of the trailer. Go ahead and slide them to the rear. Good, thank you. Now, when you're loading or unloading, this is where your tandem should be. All the way to the back, so that way when the forklift goes inside the truck, inside the trailer, you don't have a, a tipping effect, and plus it's just safer that way. Uh, like I said, the only time you'll have to slide your tandems around is if you're overweight, okay, in one area. Like I said, good rule of thumb is to keep it forward for your turns. If you get a load that, like I said, the only time you've got real concern is if you've got a load that's like 40,000 pounds or more. Get it weighed just to be sure to find out where the weight in the trailer is, okay? If your tandems are all the way forward and you go on that scale, okay, and you got your heavy, if your tandems are forward, all the way forward, and you're still heavy on your drive and steer, then you gotta move the uh, the tandem on the fifth wheel, okay? You gotta to, to to make the weight come to the back. You gotta slide the fifth wheel forward, okay? Same thing, same thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide them back to the front. Go ahead. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that pin. See how the hole isn't? I don't know if you can tell, but the hole is not completely lined up. So what I gotta do is I gotta release the pin, pull it out, 
until it goes in. Now, gotta get back in the truck and rock it a little bit till it pops in. These rock pins are locked in place, and you're good to go. Always make sure your pins are locked before you start moving. You don't want to hit your brakes and have your tandems sliding all over the place, okay? Very bad thing. So, like I said, keeping your tandems all the way forward is a good rule of thumb. Once you get your tractor and trailer, and you're driving your truck, and you start learning your truck, you're gonna you're gonna know. Uh, what your truck can handle. Another great thing to do is take an empty trailer, go get fuel, full tank, and weigh your tr your truck and your trailer empty. Okay, that way you'll know if you get a if you get a slip uh, that says oh I'm you're forty six thousand pounds, the load is forty six thousand pounds. Then then you're gonna know well hey it's gonna be heavy. And you might be overweight. Like I know this truck here with an empty trailer, full fuel, I'm like 33, 34,000 pounds. Okay, so you do the math. 43, 40, we'll use easy numbers. 40,000 pound load, 30,000 pound tractor and trailer, that's 70,000 pounds. Still 10,000 pounds underweight, which is great. But like I said, it's all in the learning process of your truck, your trailer, and you gotta play that game when you first get your truck. You gotta weigh it and know exactly what your tractor and trailer can handle. But that's how you slide your tandems. Like I said, keep them to the front for turns. That's the best way. Plus, it takes all the weight off your, uh, your drive axles and stuff, okay? So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do tandems. Y'all be breezy. And stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah! Yeah!